In this video I will show you the easiest way how you can run Stable Diffusion on your machine. Stable Diffusion is a machine learning text to image model that generates images from simple text. But before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find everything about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general or short agile dev art. If you like that kind of content then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps so you can skip any part of this video. Lately the internet was flooded with AI generated images and it all began with this announcement right here where they made the models and the source code available to the public. Using Stable Diffusion you can generate very complex images like those here using just a simple text description. This is not the only AI image generator out there but it is basically the only one that is free to use without any feature restrictions. If you have a powerful enough machine of course. Now you don't need to install that one just to try it out. There is also an online version. So if I scroll up and here to the link and down here, here is the link to the demo. Here you should be able to try it out. So let's see if it works. I want to generate an image of a cat riding a bike. Generate image. And here you have it. All four images are AI generated. So how awesome is that? On this site you are restricted in what you can do. There are some advanced options here, but you can generate only such small images for instance and not big ones. But since the source and the models are public, we can install this on our machine and generate images without restrictions locally. So let's see how we can install that one. This repo is the one that we will use in this video and as you can see down here, it is a one click way to install and it really is. I tried a bunch of repos and this one was the easiest to set up. It's not the official repository, but at least you will get a nice UI with this one. So if you scroll a bit down here to the system requirements, so you will need either Windows 10 or Windows 11 or Linux and Mac support is coming soon. For the graphics card you will need Nvidia with at least 6 GB of VRAM. And if you don't have a compatible graphics card, like for instance an AMD graphics card, then it will automatically switch to CPU. Obviously this will be slower, but in the end it should work. So this basically means everyone can use it. And this is a big deal if you have AMD for instance. Although there are forks and workarounds out there how you can use your AMD GPU with stable diffusion. Unfortunately I could not get those running but just that you know there are workarounds out there. Now let's see how we can install that one. Installation. We want Windows. Let it download. Download complete and now it says we should unzip the file and move the folder to the C drive. So let's do it. Here is the downloaded zip file. Let's open it. And now let's move this folder to the C drive. This can take some time. Now let's find it. C Stable Diffusion UI. And next what we need to do. Just double click Stable Diffusion UI. Here it is. And run. Now if you get this one, click on more info. If you don't trust this repo, then of course don't run it. In my case I trust them enough to run this one. So run anyway. This will set up everything for you. And in the end the folder will have like 18 gigabytes or so. So this will take some time to download. Just be patient. Now it is downloading the weights and they have more than 4 gigabytes. And since this file is so big, sometimes it happens that the download fails. If for some reason it fails on your side, then just close this prompt and then just start Stable Diffusion again. The setup will then continue with the step where it stopped and hopefully you will be able to download the file. Perfect, it went through without hiccups and it also opened this browser page back here. And on this page it says Stable Diffusion is ready, so that means we can use it. It has successfully detected my GPU, so that means that I can use it with Stable Diffusion. Now leave this window running and let's switch to the browser. This is now running on my local machine, localhost port 9000. How does it work? Here is the prompt where you write your image description. And down here you have additional settings. Now just to try it out, I will leave everything here on default and I will take this prompt and instead of riding a horse, I will put riding a bike. So I want to generate a photograph of an astronaut riding a bike. Let's try it out. Make image. Let's see. If we switch back to the command prompt, the first time you run it, it will download additional dependencies. Now it is generating the image and as you can see, my recording is lagging because it's using the GPU. In the task manager we can see that my GPU is running at almost 100%. Here we can also see the memory. Now let's see what will come out of that. Finished. Let's see how it looks like. There we have it. An astronaut on a bike. How awesome is that? Now let's try some options here. 
We can also add some additional modifiers and tags. Let's say I want drawing style to be sketch and visual style, let's say comic book. All right, now scroll up. Here are the tags and make image again. Again, we need to wait here. Finished, let's see the result. Wow, this is an absolute game changer. Now here we can also use a base image. Based on this image, the new image will be generated. Then down here we can change the size, the width and the height. We can also upscale an existing image. This is also very useful. If you don't have a compatible GPU, you can also turn on CPU instead of the GPU. And down here, as you can see, we can use additional tags. As you can see, this is extremely powerful. At the bottom of the page, you have a disclaimer and also the link to the license. In a nutshell, you are free to use Stable Diffusion in non-commercial and commercial projects, but you have to comply with the license at this link here. And that's all about this video. I hope you are excited about Stable Diffusion as I am. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.